morning, ESM. Today I'll be giving you a recap of some fun events that happened this past week. The Onondaga County Sheriff identified the 15-year-old victim of a fatal rollover in Clay Wednesday evening. Benjamin Foster of Central Square was pronounced dead at the scene. Foster was riding in the front passenger seat of the 2002 Honda Accord that crashed. The crash occurred around 7.35 p.m. on Henry Clay Boulevard. The vehicle rolled over several times, spokesman Sergeant John Sieber said in a news release Wednesday. Witnesses told investigators that the car was traveling southbound at a high rate of speed before the driver lost control and drove off the road. Four other people between the ages of 14 and 20 were in the car as well. The driver and the three other rear seat passengers were taken to Upstate University Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Memorial services for Ben will be held today from 4 to 6 at Faith Lutheran Church. A high school graduation speech made last week telling students to choose a spouse based on biblical principles is sparking outrage online. The alumnus Jim McGuire said in a commencement address at River Valley High School in Calcedonia, Ohio, I strongly suggest making sure to choose biblical principles, you know, a male with a fem female and a female with a male. Since the speech, McGuire's remarks have been ha called hateful and inappropriate. The school has made the video of the graduation ceremony private, but portions of McGuire's speech circulated on different social media platforms. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a mandatory informational meeting for anyone interested in participating in varsity tennis this fall, this Thursday, June 9th, after school in the Hall of Fame lobby. Any questions, email Miss Felicia. So the first event that happened was Senior Ball held at Drumlins on Saturday, and there's a lot of pictures. Here's a video of Mr. Bailey at the dance. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Bailey at the uh, ESM Ball. Hi, How are you feeling? Are. It's amazing. Did you know it's like a really nice day out today? And it's ball, it's not raining, the sun's out, everybody's excited. People are dressed up in their Sunday best, or is it Saturday? I don't know. But it's gonna be an awesome time. I'm trying to get Todd to play the vitamin C graduation song, but he doesn't really want to, because people might cry. So today we can expect more rain because this giant cloud is headed our way. But I'll explain a little more once we get into our seven day calendar. Today is going to be obviously rainy and we can expect it to be throughout today and last pretty later in, until tomorrow. So expect a lot of rain maybe later in today during the night and it's gonna lead way on to Tuesday. senior ball there was also a senior walkthrough on Friday where the seniors were bused back to their elementary schools and visited their teachers and ESM day was also on Friday so yeah this uh, senior walkthrough was fun all of us seniors were bused back to all our elementary schools we got to walk through the halls and see all the teachers Here's some clips from ESM Day on Friday. The Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Missouri State Bears made history with 44 total runs scored in a college baseball tournament game. 
The Cowboys were down 12 runs after three innings and scored 17 runs in the next three innings and won with a score of 29 to 15. The Golden State Warriors tied the series against the Boston Celtics in Game 2 in a 107-88 win. Steph Curry led the Warriors in points with 29, and Jordan Poole contributed 17 points off the bench. Players from both teams wore shorts and expressed their support for detained WNBA player Brittany Geiner, who as of now is still being held in Russia. The Tampa Bay Lightning took Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals, 3-2, against the New York Rangers. And I'm Tanner, with your sports. That's all I have for you today. For me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have an awesome week and a great Monday.